I have to be honest here and say that this is one of my favourite things on both Odyssey and Odyssey 2. It's simple but effective and makes it one of the funkiest instruments on the planet in my opinion. So here's our basic sound and you'll see that we have a high degree of resonance and a low cutoff point. We're also in monophonic mode and the reason for this will become evident later when we start using slurred notes and trills. Aside from this, it's all pretty standard fare. Oscillator 1 is tuned an octave lower than oscillator 2 and is approximately half the volume of oscillator 2. Both oscillators are set to a sawtooth and we've also added a bit of ring mod. Now one of the things that Oddity 2 does, which the original Odyssey didn't, is allow dynamic control over amplitude and filter cutoff. And here we're going to add a degree of the latter. So the harder we hit our note, the more the filter opens. In the sample and hold mixer, we can select a waveform, in this case a sawtooth, and assign it to the filter via the audio mixer section, and the yellow slider here set to S and H. Turning it up, we hear the sawtooth affect the filter. Or, if we want a square wave, we can change it to that. Better still though is a combination of both. A sawtooth via oscillator 1, and a square wave via oscillator 2. Once we've set this up so we've got something interesting going on filter-wise, we then go to the output lag slider. Now what this does is round off the corners of the sample and hold waveforms. And you can hear that as I turn this slider up, those edges become progressively more rounded. Until there's little or no effect happening. I only want a little, so this is fine. Now, instead of having the LFO constantly running, as we've been hearing, we can choose to have it triggered by each note on via the switch here. Now, whenever we play a note, the filter responds A, according to the keyboard velocity, and B, according to the settings in the sample and hold section. And this is perfect for funk lead or bass lines or solos completely beyond the obvious searing lead stuff. Any slurring of notes just adds to the vibe. And when you start playing trills and employ PPC and pitch bends, in my opinion, Oddity 2 becomes a truly expressive funk-laden synth. 